<laughs> it's a Bud Light can. <laughs> I don't know what to say about it except uh, acid uh, dissolves aluminum. <laughs> really quick. Really quickly. How long has it been there? Uh, it's been there a couple of years. Um, but usually it's dry. So it's only getting uh, um, affected by acid when it's wet like this. So there's and you a can... process that Pat Kinin told us about last year that there is, uh, if you put out like scrap metal, iron or anything like that, and the water holds a lot of copper and acid, then they swap and then you can actually uh, kind of get the copper really poorly out from, from these things? That's, uh, yeah, it's called, they mine, uh, they mine copper out of both, um, the, they can mine it out of the Berkeley Pit Lake. They also, for a long time, they've had these leach pads. Um, so all of these dumps around here, before they really built up some of the dumps, they actually lined the ground with asphalt. And then as rain water filters down through um, these dumps, um, it produces acid, it leaches copper, and then it hits that asphalt surface, it comes out into a, uh, into a drainage ditch, and then they route that over, there's a, something called the precip plant, they just get scrap iron, and they run this water over the scrap iron, and copper will replace a, uh, an atom of iron in the surface, so you put you make the copper solid and you make the iron aqueous um, and then they can pretty much just kind of rinse the copper off the surface of the iron um, and so they get it's pretty good concentrate that they get that way they've been doing that for a very long time there was back in the earliest 1900s or the late 1800s I don't know where somebody figured out that there were all of these ditches that were discharges from the mine and he figured out this process and he leased the water from the Anaconda Company and did that for a year, made a lot of money out of it and then the Anaconda Company said, yeah, well, so much for the lease for you. <laughs> we can make the money out of it. And so it's been going on, this precipitation process has been going on for a long time. They've just, it was probably 10 years ago, they started uh, processing Berkeley pit water. Um, that's what they're mostly doing now. So one thing as we are walking down, you can just slowly follow us. Um, you can see actually patches of still vegetation. Like there is this aspen growth. You might ask why is that still there? Because all of this is mine waste how come that is still there so here there used to be houses uh, just as down where the Berkeley pit is today and basically what happened they didn't strip all the ground they didn't actually fill all over mine waste and there are kind of these remnants of vegetation that still have some topsoil on the kind of buffers uh, all the surroundings and there is a really healthy nice I don't know how healthy but they look healthy a nice uh, uh, mule deer population so whoever is hunting just actually get your bows and arrows because you might actually shoot your biggest buck right yeah but but not here, <laughs> but not here. <laughs> they're protected here that area is no shooting uh.